I asked Father Fish how to culture green water indoors and he told me to put fertilizer in the chlorinated water and put a light on it 24-7. Should work. So I took some used aquarium water and filled this gallon jar, it's a pickle jar, and added a few pinches of compost. I also got a bit of brown paper in there, I'm not sure how. And after approximately a week, I am culturing seed shrimp like crazy. They don't really do any damage uh, if they wind up in the aquarium, but previously I hadn't noted any fish to devour them, so tend to pretty much infest the tank. I am curious to know if Endler's Lab Bearers would consume them. They're about the same size as a brine shrimp knockley. I'm not sure if they would appreciate the taste or the hard shell, but I'd like to give it a try. I am hopeful that this green water will be as dark green as pea soup eventually. I don't have the light on 24-7 because I also have a few fish tanks in this room and I'd like to give my fish time to have reduced lumens in the room and this light lights it up pretty well. I went ahead and added a few seed shrimp to my female Endler's Live Bearer tank and met with mixed results. It appears that the Endlers occasionally devour seed shrimp but largely spit them out so I'm going to forego adding any more. I don't want the tank to become infested with seed shrimp. But I wanted to show you that I've added Creeping Jenny to the tank. Now this plant is sort of on the fence between a pest and an ornamental plant when grown in the garden. It tends to grow very quickly and overtake preferred plants. But it is a very attractive plant and reportedly will also grow submerged. So I purchased some plants off Amazon that were sold specifically as live aquatic plants for aquaria. The binomial of Creeping Jenny is Lysomachia pneumularia. So I've added six plants and hope to have good success with them. Here's a close up of the Creeping Jenny. It's the light colored tall stem plant with rounded leaves. I do believe one source called it Chain of Frogs. I think that's a very charming name. 